Hello and welcome to another Idea Space Craft Along with the Public Library of Brookline. My name is Christy and I'm a reference and technology librarian at the Brookline Village Library and I'm here today in our Idea Space to show you all how to make your own glass jar terrarium. Let's get started. Is this your first Public Library of Brookline to-go program? Here's how it works. Each to-go kit comes complete with everything you need to follow along with an awesome DIY project and video or written instructions created by one of your local librarians. The best part? Absolutely no due dates. You can keep everything included in your kit. Visit brklib.com events to find out what and when our next project will be. Today's project will take most makers about two hours to complete. Here's what you'll find inside this month's kit. One sheet paper sandies, one bag mulberry and cray paper, one bag moss, one bag stones and crystals, one foot of floral wire, two mushroom picks, one string of LED lights, and one tube of craft adhesive. From home, you'll also need a pair of scissors and a clean glass jar. You might also want some alcohol or water-based markers. Take a moment to gather your materials and then we'll get started. To get started, take a look at the paper standee sheet in your kit and decide which, if any, paper objects you'd like to include in your terrarium. You'll probably want to have your glass jar handy to help you gauge the scale of your final layout. Cut each paper object that you'd like to include in an equal number of the small rectangles from the bottom of your standee sheet. These will serve as the stands for your paper objects. If you'd like, you can use markers, pens, or paints to add a layer of color to your paper objects. When you're finished coloring, fold a paper rectangle along the dashed line in the center and use some craft adhesive to glue one end to the bottom of your paper object. Repeat this process with as many paper objects as you'd like. While the glue on your sandies dries, you can use the floral wire and mulberry and cray papers in your kit to create miniature paper plants. To make a pair of paper flowers, cut a few inches of floral wire and bend it in half to form a stem. Next, cut two small rectangles of paper in the color you'd like your flowers to be, approximately one and a half inches by a half an inch in size. Along one long edge of each piece, cut slits about three quarters of the way through the paper every eighth an inch or so. Apply a small amount of craft adhesive along the uncut long edge of the paper, then carefully wrap the paper around one end of your floral wire stem, then repeat this process on the second end of your stem. Trim the petals formed by the top of the papers to make them appear more organic. If you'd like, you can also cut some leaf shapes out of the green paper in your kit and glue those to the stems. If you'd like to add some leafy plants to your terrarium, cut a rectangle of green paper about one and a half inches by two inches. Along one of the long ends of the paper, cut curved triangles out of the paper to form leaf shapes. Apply a bit of craft adhesive along the solid edge of the paper, then roll and pinch the paper to form a tuft of leaves. If you use cray paper, you can gently pull on each leaf to stretch and curl the paper to make it appear more natural. Once you've finished all your plants and sandies, gather together all your materials to begin assembling your terrarium. Start by gluing down your sandies using the craft adhesive. You can either glue them to the bottom or the side of your glass jar or to the lid of your jar. If you have trouble reaching to the bottom of your jar, you can use a pair of tweezers or a pencil to tap the stand firmly to the surface. If you're using a paper moth or bat in your terrarium, you can also use some extra floral wire to make it appear as though it's flying. Next, you can glue down your paper plants, moss, stones, and mushroom picks. If you'd like to add lights to your jar, you can either wrap the wire in a bit of tape to protect it, then screw it in under the lid, or you can use a hammer and nail to poke a hole in your jar's lid for the wire to feed through. 
Either way, you can tuck the battery pack out of sight behind your jar, then turn it on to light up your terrarium. Thank you all so much for crafting with us today. We would love to see what you made with your kit, so please feel free to share your project with us on social media at BRKLIB using the hashtag MakeYourOwnStory. The Craft Along program is generously sponsored by the friends of the Brookline Public Library. From all of us here at the library, we wish you very happy making. Bye-bye.